Welcome to the new weekly video podcast for the PBS series, E Squared. This exclusive online program will take you beyond the episode you just watched and deeper into the world of sustainability. They don't impress you as moving that fast, but uh, because of the diameter, the tips themselves are traveling at over 130 miles per hour. At that circumference, uh, there's a lot of speed at the tips. The earlier generation uh, machines had uh, vanes, and as the wind was stronger, the, the vanes would turn faster. The blades now are pitch controlled, and it can maneuver each blade to either let the wind go by if it's too strong or pitch into the wind to improve the torque of the blade. First blade lengths were approximately 100 feet long. So the, the longer the blade, the, the higher the tower and the more power it's able to produce. These particular blades that we make here are over 140 feet long. This new tower can generate electricity for over 600 homes. So it's pretty impressive. Rotor blades are difficult to ship, so this is the first thing we're gonna do here. Will it be the last thing? Absolutely not. And uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, we're all looking at uh, 60 meter series blades and up to 90 meters. The plan is configured to make the blades for the 2.1 S88, and that's the largest machine that Suzlon presently makes. The plant has three production lines, and our target is to make a set of blades per day, uh, 900 blades a year or 300 sets. This is the area where parts are assembled, pre-assembled to go into the blade. These are the things that, uh, that give the blade strength. Uh, the girders and the main shear web actually create an I-beam down the middle of the blade. So it, it gives it all its uh, strength in the horizontal. After the components are completed that go into the blade, the blade halves are then made. Uh, weaving is rolled into the blades of uh, various uh, thicknesses and directions to get the engineering properties designed for the blade, and then the infusion process starts. After the infusion, uh, they will bond both halves. Then that cures for about nine hours. Then uh, we, we put some reinforcement layers on, we finish uh, the outside surface, it gets painted, it gets balanced, it gets numbered, it gets ID plates and OD plates and all that good stuff. It gets put on the stands and it gets uh, rolled outside. It takes about four days to, to finish one. And you think about uh, it, it, it's fiberglass and composites and using this, these uh, specially uh, derived resins. But other than that, when you get right down to it, it's a very simple process. It's more like being an artist than uh, being an engineer, is what we found. Certainly the technology is moving rapidly. What we've seen over the last 10 years has been dramatic in the relative to technology. It is in its infancy, and I think we'll see many more innovations in the, in the upcoming years. For more information about E Squared, visit our website at pbs.org. Thank you for watching. I'm Carl Bass. We're proud to sponsor this weekly podcast for this E Squared Energy Series.